Hello and good morning. Welcome from a very, very sunny but very snowy Tallinn, Estonia, where we're kind of still waiting for the last of winter to disappear. But you're very, very welcome to join in from your warm living room or underneath your bed or uh, underneath your bed covers. Um, I'm going to talk to you today, give you a short webinar. Uh, about Tallinn's International Summer School and Winter School. If you have any questions, feel free to write in and our wonderful Olga is, is on hand to give you answers as soon as she can. Uh, but my name is David. Uh, I started off as a participant in summer school uh, studying Estonian language. Then I became a participant in winter school studying Russian language. Then I became a volunteer. Then I was a lecturer in uh, English language. Uh, and nowadays I'm the events host. So you'll see me uh, presenting all of the different events. But trust me, I've done all of the roles and I know summer school inside and out. Uh, and I'm going to introduce to you our three week program to give you the kind of the best experience that you could ever have over winter or summer here in Tallinn, Estonia, where you can learn lots and lots and lots, make lots and lots of new friends, experience loads of cool activities and get to know uh, Estonia and Estonian culture a bit better. Um, so the summer school, uh, it runs for three weeks uh, over, uh, over July. Uh, starting from the 9th of July uh, and running until the 27th of July. Uh, the classes uh, normally start in the morning. Uh, don't worry, not too early, uh, 10 o'clock. And they run until about 1.30. And then in the afternoon and the evening, we have lots of really cool and interesting kind of cultural and social events for you to take part in. Uh, if you're thinking of applying, uh, odds are that you're in the right place. If you found the website, then you're more than welcome to come and study with us. We have participants from all sorts of backgrounds. We have students uh, all the way from college students who are thinking of applying to university uh, and want to improve their English or, or get a better score on the IELTS or Cambridge tests, all the way through to bachelor's, master's and PhD students uh, in different languages. So some are studying Russian language or Estonian language. Others are studying history, politics, international relations. And others are studying very, very, very interesting and, and diverse range of subjects like psychology, uh, sci uh, sciences, computer sciences and programming. So lots and lots and lots of different students from lots of different backgrounds come to study uh, at Tallinn Summer School. But also we have lots of non-students as well. So we have lots of mature participants. Uh, what is quite common, we get lots of uh, people with an Estonian background who live in, for example, Australia or Canada or the States want to get to know a bit more about their heritage in their home country. We get lots and lots of these guys come to study at the, uh, at the summer school. We also get uh, quite a lot of expats, people who've moved to Estonia, uh, to Tallinn, and they want to learn a bit more, maybe improve their Estonian language, improve their Russian language, uh, or also just get to know a bit more about Estonian culture. So we get lots and lots and lots of, of uh, migrants or people living in Estonia for work uh, come to study at summer school. Uh, we also get lots of people who are interested in Estonian culture. Uh, so, for example, you might be interested in uh, Estonian choir singing, uh, Estonian handicrafts, uh, Estonian history. And these guys, they, they like to come and learn a bit more about uh, Estonian culture through our cultural program, which I'll tell you a bit more uh, in a minute. And then we also have a really wide range of courses, which I'll talk to you about uh, from all sorts of different things like translation, uh, dog and canine behavior, and also programming, the kind of things that Estonia is famous for. So lots and lots and lots of different people come to Tallinn Summer School for different reasons. But the thing that kind of joins them is that they're here to have a good time, meet lots of interesting people uh, and have a really, really great experience here in Estonia. Um, we have students and participants coming from all over the world. We have 50 different countries represented. Uh, so usually we get lots of people from Europe, from Germany, from France, from the UK, also from the USA and Canada, from Russia uh, and from as far away as Japan, South Korea, China and Australia. So even if you're miles miles and miles and miles away from Estonia, uh, somewhere very, very hot and warm and sunny. Uh, you're more than welcome to come and join us uh, during the, the, the summer school in July. Um, most of the courses, yeah, like I say, are open to everybody and not just for students. So uh, let me introduce to you some of the courses that we offer. Um, the most popular courses are by far the language courses that we offer. Uh, and we offer courses in three different languages. Uh, 
Number one is Estonian language. This is the most popular. Uh, and this three-week course really gives you an intense grounding in Estonian language. Uh, so by the end of the course, even if you're a complete beginner, you'll be equipped with the kind of skills to communicate confidently in Estonian language. And if you're not a beginner, if you're an intermediate or an advanced learner, uh, by the end of the course, because it's so intensive, you come away with really, really, really noticeable uh, improvement in your Estonian language skills. So Estonian language is, is very, very popular. As well, you get the chance to practice a lot around town. So just out and about, also on the cultural program uh, and in the afternoons and the evenings, you'll get a lot of opportunity to practice your Estonian, watching television, reading newspapers. It's a really immersive environment to improve your language skills. Uh, but also uh, another popular course is Russian language. Uh, there are uh, lots of Russian people living here in Tallinn and in Estonia. Uh, and if you don't want to uh, go through the big procedure of applying for a visa and going to Russia, uh, Tallinn Summer School represents a really, really, really good opportunity, a really wicked place to come and study Russian language. Our Russian language teachers are all very, very experienced. Uh, they're all native speakers of Russian. Uh, and again, it gives you that kind of immersive atmosphere where you get lots and lots and lots of time to practice, discuss with your teacher and improve your Russian language skills. The course, uh, the group sizes are quite small as well. So you'll also get the chance to uh, to interact a lot and answer lots of questions and do lots of exercises with the, the teacher. And believe me, you'll notice a big difference in your language skills, whether you study Estonian or Russian language by the end of the course. Of course, you know, I'm a bit biased because I, I taught uh, the English language course for a couple of years, but we also offer English language courses with some really really, really friendly, really nice teachers. Um, and we have lots of different groups uh, with lots of different students with different backgrounds. Uh, for example, um, what is a very popular demographic to come and study here are people who want to study an international degree, who want to move abroad. And in order to do that, they need to improve their English. And Tallinn Summer School is a really good place to learn English uh, because, like I say, we have lots of native speakers teaching English language. But also, English is the kind of uh, lingua franca, the communication language between all of the different participants in the summer school. So our students who study English really appreciate having the chance to talk to and meet and, and interact with lots and lots and lots of different people in English. Uh, we also have, if maybe sitting in a classroom and doing exercises and learning grammar isn't your thing, we also have a really, really interesting course, which is called Improv English, uh, where you get the chance to practice your English, but in a slightly different environment with kind of theatre and uh, behavioural techniques. And it really emphasises your spoken English and you'll see big, big, big improvements in your, your confidence in talking English language. So this is also a very, very popular course to take, Improv English. We also have, as you can see, a wide range of creative courses. Uh, for example, creative psychotherapy is a very, very, uh, very popular course where people can come uh, and explore the different ways that you can uh, deal with uh, patients in a uh, psychotherapy um, framework, but do it using techniques of creativity, such as painting, sculpting, uh, and writing. So this is a really popular course for people who uh, are already practicing psychotherapy and psychology, but also people who are studying for a degree in psychotherapy and psychology. And it, it introduces lots of different ways of performing the, the, same, uh, the same topic. Uh, we also have, if you're interested in improving your English, uh, but not quite your spoken English, uh, you can also take our creative writing course in English, where we always introduce um, and uh, get a guest lecturer in to introduce writing techniques in English. So this is also a very, very good course. If you're an aspiring poet or playwright, if you think you're the next William Shakespeare or Charles Dickens, this is a good place to come in order to kind of hone and improve your technique. So creative writing in English. Uh, if you're, uh, on the other hand, uh, something of a, a programmer, um, or you're interested in creating some form of game, uh, design of serious games or the gamification workshop could be for you. Uh, these two courses are interested in taking topics and themes, um, maybe not necessarily that you would associate with gaming, but turning them into games so that you can encourage your users and the people that, um, that access your services to improve and learn 
uh, and uh, yeah, use your, your apps, but in a game situation, which can be really good way of improving your, um, your interaction with your, with your users. So yeah, design of serious games, gamification workshop, are very, very interesting courses to take. Also, if you're a very, very creative type, uh, you can also take these uh, storytelling uh, courses. So we have two of those on offer, uh, the storytelling comics and illustration or the photo story animation and TV news courses. They're different ways of exploring the same topic. So telling a story, but it could be through comics, through drawing, through illustration. And there is a one week workshop that you can take or it's through photo story, animation and TV news. Uh, how to tell your story to an audience, deliver your creativity and your story to an audience, but through different media. Uh, and also a very, very, very popular course that we have is the short film course. Uh, the short film course is really, really, really good. If you are thinking about uh, applying for a university degree or a course or a career in filmmaking, but you don't really have a lot on your portfolio. So this is a really good chance to come spend three weeks with lots of like minded individuals. And at the end of the three weeks, you create a five or six minute short film, which we kind of show in our big uh, film festival at the end of the, the summer school. So this is a really good way to kind of develop your skills, whether you're a cameraman, whether you're a director, whether you're an actor, whether you're an aspiring writer and you want to get into film, not necessarily if you're studying it, but if you want to like move into that career or if you do something completely different, but you have that burning desire to be the next great Steven Spielberg, the short film course is a really, really good one to take. Uh, we also have lots of uh, new and interesting courses in different topics. So for example, uh, if you were reading the news and you were interested uh, Estonia scored very, very, very well in the PISA tests of international education. Uh, and so Estonia has, has got uh, very, very good outcomes in education sciences. And so we have three courses uh, that you can study during our summer school to try and discover what the secrets of the Estonian education. So they're not really secrets, but yeah, to study what they are. So for example, we have this innovation in education course, which is a really good way of discovering new techniques and ways that you can bring technology into the classroom. Technology is obviously something which Estonia is very, very famous for now, e-Estonia and e-services, and technological innovation in education is something that Estonia is really, really passionate about. So you can study this course in a Tallinn Summer School, uh, but you can also study two other courses as well, education through place and space, which is about bringing games, experimental learning into the classroom. This might be an interesting course for you. Or you might be interested in learning and development across cultures, how to deliver your educational techniques to a different culture. This is a really, really great course, course to study. Uh, we have interdisciplinary courses as well. So they don't just focus on one topic, but they look at a whole range of different topics. Experimental interaction design, how to deliver technology and software to a different audience uh, and make effective software for all sorts of different solutions, experimental interaction design is a very good course. We're really excited about this next one, Introduction to Canine Cognition, Behaviour and Animal-Human Interactions. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, a career in dog training or if you have an unruly dog or if you have an unruly partner or husband, no, I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, if you have an unruly dog or a pet, then you can come and learn how to train your dog uh, with some absolute specialists um, at, the, at the university. And that one goes on for two weeks. And then also we have this learning is ecology course about ex ex exploring environmental uh, aspects of learning. We also have some humanities and social sciences degrees. Um, for example, if you're interested in learning a lot more about Estonia, um, there are a couple of very, very good, interesting courses. Uh, the top one is, is one of my favourites, the Edible Estonia. I'm looking forward to eating lots and lots and lots of Estonian culture uh, over the summer and seeing what you prepare. But yeah, this is all about the traditional Estonian cooking and food preparation techniques. So if you're interested in cooking, and you also have some interest in, in Estonia or new Nordic cuisine. Uh, Tallinn in particular has a reputation now as being the up and coming 
gastronomic capital of of northeastern Europe and the Nordic Baltic region. So there's lots and lots and lots of expertise that we can share. And the Edible Estonia course is a really good way of improving your cooking techniques uh, and also incorporating traditional Estonian tastes into your cooking. Uh, we also have the Introduction to Estonian Culture course, which will give you a more uh, general overview of Estonian culture. And then we also have uh, a very interesting course, which is Russian culture in Estonia and beyond. Uh, the impact of Russians and Russian speakers uh, who've been living in Estonia for many, many, many centuries and talking and exploring the way that they uh, interact with Estonian culture. We also have um, a technical course, Information and Knowledge Management in a Digital Environment. This is to do with databases and database management and database construction. Uh, and if you remember all of the other kind of programming and software and development courses, this is a very, very good way of broadening your network, meet, meeting lots and lots of people who you might be interested in working with or networking with in the future. So uh, this is a very, very good course to take, uh, Knowledge Management in a Digital Environment. We also have uh, social enterprises. This is a popular course about how to build uh, a socially conscious uh, social business, but also provide some form of service to society. This is a very, very popular course. The Formation of Global Norms is uh, taught by Matthew Crandall, uh, who you can also listen to later on. He's, he will also be giving a webinar, uh, but he's a very experienced lecturer in international relations. So the Formation of Global Norms in a Changing World Order is very popular for politics and international students who want to use Estonia as a case study, but learn more about global trends in international relations. And we also have this uh, translation course as well, if you're a budding translator, translation in intercultural space. So what are the more practical parts of applying for summer school? So first of all, you have to make sure you're free between the 9th and 27th of July. Some of the courses, obviously, they don't run for the whole three weeks. They may run for one week. They may run for two weeks, in which case the best thing to do is to check the website, summerschool.tlu.ee. And on the website there, you can see the length of the courses, which dates they will cover, uh, and then make sure that you'll be uh, free for those dates. Um, to apply, all you need to do is go to that website, summerschool.tlu.ee, fill in the registration form. Um, you might need to write a motivation letter. Um, you might not do, it depends on the application. But it, the registration form is really, really, really easy to fill out. So uh, it, it's not complicated. Uh, you don't need to be able to pass a PISA test. You don't need to have a, a, a master's degree from Estonia in order to fill it in. It's dead easy. Uh, but the official application deadline is the 30th of April. So don't sit around, don't wait for too long. You've only got about six, five or six weeks in order to apply. However, if there are vacant spaces at the end, uh, past the deadline, we're definitely not going to turn you away. You'll still be welcome. Uh, the best thing to do in that case is to write an email to, uh, to Birgit or to Olga. Their email address is coming. It'll be at the end of the slideshow. Um, or you can just fill out the application form uh, and they will write back to you. Um, you might be a cost conscious student and interested in the prices. Um, so the prices for the courses, they vary. The cheapest courses are about 150 euros. The most expensive ones are about 600 euros. Uh, there were some scholarship opportunities for students, uh, but the deadline for those have passed. So um, the scholarships from Estonia uh, you won't be able to get, but there might be other scholarships that you can find. But definitely there are different price structures and discounts for students. And also, very, very, very significantly, there are early bird discounts. So if you're already super keen on coming to study and for some reason who knows why, you haven't applied yet, uh, you can apply. Uh, and before the 31st of March, you'll get an early bird discount. Um, one of the best things about studying in summer school is the opportunity to stay in our student dormitory. It's very, very, very close to university. If you've had a really, really heavy night and you're not feeling so well and you don't fancy coming all the way to university, don't worry. The, the dormitory is only about two minutes walk away. So you can you can crawl in literally in your pajamas. Even I don't recommend that 
you can if you want. I don't recommend it. But uh, yeah, the dormitory is only about two minutes walk away. And for the prices that we offer the dormitory for, um, you won't find any anything like this in, in Estonia for three weeks of accommodation. Uh, so 188 euros for the whole three weeks or for the different time periods, there are different prices. And normally the rooms are arranged with two beds in the same room, sometimes with three beds in the same room, but it gives you the chance to meet lots and lots and lots of different participants. And lots of people stay friends with their roommates. They've kind of, they've heard them snoring. They've shared a room with them for three weeks. They build bonds that last forever. And I know that I'm still in touch with some of my former roommates from, from the dormitory as well. It's really, really, really good fun. Um, if you want more information, if you want to see some pictures of the dormitory, um, or you want to have a look at exactly where the dormitory is, the link is there, summerschool.tlu.ee forward slash accommodation. Um, but they need uh, a prepayment for the accommodation by May 15th because the demand is so, so, so high for it that after May 15th, then they can't guarantee you necessarily a place. So make sure you apply before 31st of March in order to get the, the early bird discount before the end of April in order to uh, make sure and guarantee your place on the course and then before May the 15th in order to get the place in the accommodation. So, as I mentioned, during the morning, you'll be studying hard, learning lots and lots about canine behaviour or Estonian language. But in the afternoon, one of the really great things about the summer school is the opportunity to participate in the cultural and social programme. So normally at 1.30, the classes all end. And then in the afternoon, we have lots of open events or also parts of the cultural programme. So for example, we have open lectures. I deliver one of the open lectures based on my PhD research, a welcome to Estonia, but we also have have uh, lectures in different things. So for example, uh, e-Estonia, we have lectures in art from Estonia, all sorts of different open lectures, which you're free to come and attend. Um, and in the afternoons as well, we also have uh, film uh, uh, film presentations, which again, I also present. Um, Estonia has uh, very, very recently become a real star of, of making films. Uh, and we show you some of the best examples of Estonian filmmaking. And they're free for everyone to attend uh, in the afternoon um, after classes have finished. Uh, we also uh, go uh, for lots of different trips to different places. So for example, we go for tours of the old town or tours of different parts of the city. And we also go to uh, lots of different museums as well. So we go to the Kumu Art Museum. Uh, we've been to the uh, Bastion Passages, the secret passages under the old town. Uh, and we also go to the old uh, uh, town hall square and have a, a tour around the uh, old town hall. So loads of different cool places uh, in Tallinn to go and visit and, and go on tours for. And we also have a bicycle tour as well. Uh, if you're worried, you think, oh, hang on a second, Assume, that's near the North Pole, isn't it? Where the polar bears live. No, don't worry. In summer, it is sunny sometimes. Uh, and it's also quite warm. Uh, so you can cycle around and, and see the city as well, which is a really good way of exploring. Um, we also have uh, different parties in the evening, uh, which again are also free to attend. So we have the, the world famous international evening where you can show off your country to a whole range of different participants, uh, demonstrate the food, the culture, some phrases, do some performances, uh, show some drinks as well uh, that a, your country is famous for. And then we'll also this year be having to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Estonian Republic is a very, very important year. We'll have a special Estonia evening where we present all the different parts of Estonian culture. We'll have uh, an Estonian dance performance for you and we'll look at like Estonian choir singing different songs. So loads of different parties and events in the evening to kind of get to know all of the different people who are studying here um, at the summer school. We also have in the weekend, uh, one of the most popular elements of the course uh, of, the, of the, the summer school are the weekend trips. Um, we've been to all sorts of different places in the past. 
This year, we've picked two very, very, very cool weekend trips for you to take part in. Uh, we're going to go to the very eastern frontier of the European Union and visit Narva, Idavirumar. Uh, we're going to go down under the under the, the surface of the earth to explore mining in Estonia. And then we're also going to stay at one of Estonia's most famous spa resorts in Toila, where you can uh, relax by the beach, go to the spa, rent a Segway, uh, and also the Toila Valley was voted one of the most beautiful places in Estonia, so you can walk around and explore this. So one weekend trip, we're heading east to Idavinoma, and for the second weekend trip, we're going to go to the southeast corner of the country, and we're going to explore Tartu, which is the second city, the, uh, the, the intellectual capital of Estonia, uh, and they also go further uh, and look into the, uh, the ancient Seto culture, which is recognised by UNESCO as being a, a cultural, uh, culturally significant uh, population in the southeast of Estonia, and they'll show us lots of really interesting elements of Seto culture, things like the uh, interesting and unique Seto clothes that they wear, the Seto singing, uh, Seto traditions uh, and Seto religion as well. So this is a really popular uh, trip. And then we also get the chance to stay deep, deep, deep in the countryside uh, of Southeast Estonia, which is really, really, really beautiful. So they have two very, very cool uh, weekend trips which take place as part of the cultural program. If you're studying Russian language, you might be interested in the extra part of the cultural program, which is uh, a trip, a tour to St. Petersburg and Moscow. This happens after the summer school finishes uh, and is organised by a very, very, very experienced and very, very, very knowledgeable guide. Uh, and he will show you all of the best places to see in, uh, in, in, in St. Petersburg and Moscow. So this is a really cool way if you're learning Russian uh, and you want to explore uh, the, the culture and the cities, the two most famous cities of, of Russia, then there is this option at the end of the course to go and explore St. Petersburg and Moscow. The cultural program prices, uh, you can see them here. For the full program, including the weekend trips, all of the museum trips, all of the tours, all of the various different events is 450 euros. For a partial program is 250 euros. Um, and more information, that you, if you want to find it, is here on the website, summerschool.tlu.e forward slash cultural dash program but as you can see from the pictures they're really 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 cool events but there you'll see lots and lots and lots of examples of the different things that we do and how much fun we have during the, the cultural program now you might be thinking well you know this summer i've already got plans uh, I can't imagine what would be more fun than coming to Tallinn Summer School, but maybe you've already booked something. Uh, in that case, we also have Tallinn Winter School, which, uh, as you can imagine, happens in January. Um, and it's kind of the, the little brother, the, the younger brother of, of Tallinn Summer School. So it's slightly smaller. It's slightly more intimate, but you get to know the people much, 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 much better. Um, so this, this course, it runs for three weeks uh, from the 7th to the 25th of January this year coming. Um, but you can choose the duration of the course. Not everyone is free for three weeks in, in January. So you can come for one week, you can come for two weeks, or you can come for the whole three weeks. And like I say, it's the younger brother of, of Tallinn Summer School. So in the summer school, we'll get three to 400 students. Uh, in winter school, we get about 80 students. But that intimate atmosphere means you kind of get to know everyone much, much, much better. And again, these courses are open to everybody, not just students. So you could be Anything from a high school student who's thinking of applying to university right the way up to PhD studies um, like I was when I first came to Tallinn summer, uh, winter school. Or you could also be a resident of, of Tallinn, Estonia, who uh, would like to learn a bit more about the country or the language. You could have Estonian roots. You could be interested in Estonian culture. Uh, you could be interested in learning a bit more about the Baltic states. You could even be a fan. We've had uh, one Japanese participant who's a big fan of a famous Estonian sumo wrestler. She came and studied in, in winter school uh, to explore a bit more about Estonian culture. And we also had a, a big fan of Estonian music of Ever and the Two Dragons and they come and, and study here as well. So loads of different people come to, to winter school for different reasons, not just students. 
the courses okay so it's the smaller brother so there are fewer courses uh, but we still offer those three uh, main language courses in Estonian language in Russian language and in English um, so those are the three that we have the classes are a little bit smaller so you get more interaction with the teacher um, so yeah uh, Estonian Russian and also this improv English using drama theatre improvisation techniques uh, and working on your spoken English um, we also have uh, this creative course confirmed in experimental interaction design this is to do with programming front end software development if that's your kind of thing this Estonia is a very good place to study because Estonia is very becoming very famous for its tech startups and also for its uh, e-services as well. So uh, experimental interaction design is a very cool course. And we'll also, um, if the course you're thinking about studying isn't on this list, uh, we'll also be announcing new courses as well closer to uh, closer to winter school as we get them confirmed. So as I mentioned. Uh, the winter school, it runs between 7th and 25th of January. Uh, to register, the online registration form is online. Don't do it just yet. The registration is not open, uh, but that will open in October. So you can come back in October, fill out the registration form. Um, and then the registration deadline is the 1st of September, uh, December. You don't need to fill it in by 1st of December. If there are spaces on the course, we'll still accept you afterwards. Don't worry. Uh, but if you want more information about it, uh, there's the website winterschool.tlu.ee. The prices uh, okay, they're from 150 euros to 440 euros. There are definitely discounts and scholarship opportunities for students. Uh, and as this is the only winter school in uh, in Estonia, winter short course in Estonia, the scholarship opportunities are quite good. Um, so if you're studying already or if you want some financial help, then uh, yeah, you can apply for a scholarship from Archimedes to study at winter school. The accommodation prices, there they are, 96 euros for one week. 128 euros for two weeks or 192 euros for three weeks. And as before, the uh, there is more information on the website, winterschool.tlu.ee forward slash accommodation. We also run a cultural program uh, during the winter school. Again, it's slightly smaller uh, than the summer school program. We will go for one weekend trip uh, to Tartu, but you can there, you can take part in different winter activities. Uh, so we do things like uh, snow tubing, uh, and we also go to the uh, Estonian National Museum, which is a really cool place to visit to explore more about Estonian culture. Uh, the price for the winter school cultural program is 270 euros. Of course, we have that wide range of open lectures, movie nights, parties and social events as well that you can take part in and for more information yeah you can look at this website winterschool.tlu.ee forward slash cultural dash program uh, but more information will be added to that closer to the time so maybe good to check back in october to get more details so if you have any more questions uh, the best person to turn to would be to Birgit or to Olga. They're very, very friendly. They're very happy to answer any emails you might have. Their contact details uh, you can find on the website, uh, summerschool.tlu.ee. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Check what we're up to, see what we're doing. Uh, those are our, our Facebook and Instagram links. But uh, all it remains for me to say is thank you very very much for listening and i hope to see you very 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 soon in summer school between july 9th and july 27 take care